This prophetic encouragement is from Nate Johnston and was published on October 21, 2023. Timid Lions, Get Back Your Roar I woke up in a state of warfare at 2.30 a.m. after a dream where I saw lions that had been physically abused and beaten until they were afraid and timid. I could feel in my spirit that I needed to pray for this assignment to break because these lions' roars needed to be heard, but they were just too traumatized by the relentless psychological warfare to break out. In the dream, I asked, what do I do to break it? And then I heard, prophesy to them to come out. It reminded me of Ezekiel 37, where he was told to prophesy to dry bones to come to life. It also reminded me of 1 Samuel 22, where the prophet Gad called David out of the cave of Adullam. So I woke up in intercession over you. This assignment of timidity, fear, retreat, hiding, and silence must break now in Jesus' name. You have been gaslit over and over until you have waved the white flag, but today, you will get your roar back in Jesus' name. Lions, it's time to roar again. It's time to lift your voices again. And many are saying, but I have no strength left in me to lift my voice. I am beyond beat down, and I'm depleted. And I would say to you now, come out in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of the place of death. Come out of the tomb. Come out of the fatigue that is a spirit lingering over you. Shake it off. Renounce it. Remember who you are. The Lion of the tribe of Judah is right now roaring over you and calling you back to life. And you will roar again. And you will prophesy again. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. The lion hath roared. Who will not fear? The Lord God hath spoken. Who can but prophesy? Amos 3 verses 7 to 8. For in the absence of your roar, the enemy has tried to disrupt and disband your life into tiny pieces. That's why there has been so much mess and fractures. You need to stand back at your post. You need to roar off the invaders approaching your land. You need to stand and prophesy again so the enemy does not encroach on your inheritance in tomorrow. For he sees what is at stake. Do you? But in the months to come, you will feel resurrection life touch every part of your life, body, soul, and spirit. You will feel a fresh wind and newness come upon and take away the weary garment you have been wearing. You will feel a fresh song enter your heart and a raging fire enter your belly again and you will come fully alive where the enemy thought he successfully sent you into an infirmary season. But I prophesy that assignment expires now in Jesus' name. Lazarus come forth. Lions come out of timidity and spiritual sleep in Jesus' name. Here are some verses for this word. Ezekiel 37 verses 4-6 from the Amplified Bible. Again he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, Behold, I will make a breath enter you so that you may come to life. I will put sinews on you, make flesh grow back on you, cover you with skin, and I will put breath in you so that you may come alive, and you will know that I am the Lord. 1 Samuel 22 verses 1-2 from the Amplified Bible So David departed from there and escaped to the cave of Adullam, and when his brothers and all his father's house heard about it, they went down there to him. Everyone who was suffering hardship, and everyone who was in debt, and everyone who was discontented gathered to him, and he became captain over them. There were about four hundred men with him. 1 Samuel 22 verse 5 from the Amplified Bible Then the prophet Gad said to David, Do not stay in the stronghold, leave, and go into the land of Judah. So David left and went into the forest of Hereth. Joel 3 verses 14-17 from the Amplified Bible Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision judgment. 
for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision when judgment is executed. The sun and the moon grow dark and the stars lose their brightness. The Lord thunders and roars from Zion and utters His voice from Jerusalem in judgment of His enemies, and the heavens and the earth tremble and shudder, but the Lord is a refuge for His people and a stronghold of protection to the children of Israel. Then you will know and understand fully that I am the Lord your God, dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then Jerusalem will be holy, and strangers who do not belong will no longer pass through it. Here's a pray along video for this word. Heavenly Father, my Restorer, my Redeemer, my Breaker, my Messiah, who opens the way for me. You said, Come out of the tomb. And my body is instantly filled with new energy. There's new strength that comes to my bones. There's new life flowing through me. Because your word doesn't return void, it accomplishes what you please. And I leave despair, debt, and discontent behind as I march out of the cave into the glorious restoration of my being, my life, and my voice. I leave behind the strongholds and step into the land of promise you have prepared for me. I come out of the tomb with a fresh song. I come out of the tomb with a raging fire in my belly. I come out of the tomb fully alive and resurrected in Jesus' name. Father, my voice will thunder and roar like your voice thunders and roars from Zion. My roar will bring life to the dry and barren places. My roar will carry your word, and the world will fully understand that you are the Lord and the King in Jesus' name. Amen. To support and read more prophetic words from today's featured prophet, Nate Johnston, please visit natancristi.co.